talk about a top growth stock to watch for today and now. So you can see that this is Upstart, it's ticker symbol UPST. Again, that's Upstart, ticker symbol UPST. Now this has been on a downtrend for a while, so I just wanted to go over the, as you can see, this is a big decrease, but it's forming a bit of a base and potential support. So I wanted to discuss the price targets for this, the key levels of entry, and what I'm looking at as far as TA. There's also some crazy news that came out, which I wanted to discuss as far as Upstart is concerned. Um, there was some overall, uh, you could say, banking related news that has really affected the stock market um, and it was yesterday with Brainerd uh, talking about the Fed meetings tomorrow that they may need to increase interest rates galore so of course the growth stocks are going crazy now and I would wait for any trades with growth stocks until the Fed meeting is over I know I said this in the previous videos um, but basically the Fed minutes are going to be at two o'clock today. So I just want all of you to have the proper key levels to look for once the Fed meeting is over. And if there's nothing bad in the Fed meeting, I see a relief rally coming and buyers stepping in, which obviously you can see that's not happening right now with many of the growth stocks. So if we look at Upstart UPST, we can see that there is not much uh, bullishness going on not much at all this is the daily chart and you can see that it actually broke this descending triangle to the downside descending triangle to the downside now you can see there is a little bit of a wedge forming which is bullish but I expect this not to bounce until this key level right here. And of course we will zoom in a little bit because I do want to talk about some day trading and some swing trading as well. For swing traders right now, I would say that this is your key level of importance from 89.90 to 85.60. So I would get in and enter here because it does look like it's forming a bit of a base right here. Um, and I would say to get in at this area if we see buying pressure on the RSI and the stochastic. And what I mean by that is we need to see it bounce off either the 50 or the 80. So we need to see that. We're not seeing that right now. But you know, the day is young, so that could happen. So now we're going to look at the 90 day. And as you can see, it broke this key level of support. So for day traders, the key that I'm looking at, the next one is actually pretty close to here. Let me just zoom out a little bit more. And the key level, right. Okay, yes. So it's right here. You can see this little green candle right here, but we broke that so we need to go over here to see if there are any potential buyers. Um, you can see that this is another base. So I'm looking at it around the 85, 86 level. I would say a good entry is 86 or 85 if we see buyers. Now we need to see buyers. It is below the 200 MA and there's really not many buyers stepping in right now. And as I said, we broke this descending triangle. So I am looking for a bounce around 85, 86. That would be the level to go in. Now, if we look at the five minute chart, we can see a little bit different. If you wanted to scalp it, it does look like there's a little bit of a base forming and it's over the 50 MA. We can see that there was a grand Greek, a big green candle, a big green candle that made it go over the 50 MA, but it's still not over the VWAP, so not yet bullish, but there are some buyers that stepped in here, which is a good sign for a potential reversal, but I, believe that this is just a bull trap right now, so I wouldn't get into it just now. So if we're looking at this, it does, for swing traders, need to fill this gap up. I believe that it will because 
90% of the time all gaps fill, so that's good. But as you can see, it is forming a nice solid base if we zoom out more. It's just there's no, there's no buyers right now. I mean, the Fed is completely making the market go crazy. We saw that the 10-year um, uninverted <laughs> today, so that's a good sign, but we're just not seeing much bullishness in the market, and we're seeing a lot of people are afraid to even enter the market because of what the Fed might say. We're on thin ice as far as that goes. So basically every Fed meeting, I'll, I take it as an opportunity to buy dips on growth names when we're able to, when I see buyers, and to make some nice profit. So if we're looking at it from a swing trading perspective and from a day trading perspective, I think there are some opportunities where we met those levels. Now, if we go back to the 90-day, I would say once we reach the 85-86 level, we would go up to here, which is around $99. So I would say to have a price target of around $99, um, I would say that the resistance is at the psychological level of $100. So we want to be a little bit before that, but I think this is a very nice trade to make, especially in this unknown market, as we would say. But it is starting to form a little bit of a base. So if you want to scalp it, you can do that as well. Now, I just wanted to talk about um, Loop Capital because they did initiate coverage on this one. They initiated it with a buy rating and a price target of $140. So if that doesn't tell you it's undervalued, I don't know what will. Um, but I think that's really great bullish news and the stock market it hasn't even like price that in yet. So I think we will see some bullishness by the end of today, especially if there is a relief rally from the Fed minutes. It's just basically getting those Fed minutes out of the way so the growth names can come back to life. But I would say this area is very interesting to me for either swing trading or day trading. And of course, we want to make money. We want to make a lot of money, all of us. So just be careful of this area. But it is a very interesting stock to look at. And I do see a lot of bullishness ahead. I do think it's undervalued. And I think it's just been having some really poor headlines that have been FUD. Um, there also was a little bit of an upset today with the fintech space because of Zelle. We noticed that the banks, especially Bank of America, want to create Zelle for uh, when you go to the register, you can use Zelle as a payment option, which obviously is going to take market share from Square and PayPal. And I just feel like the fintech space is getting drowned out right now um, because the uh, large institutions or legacy institutions are trying to do whatever in their power to um, make it so they're not disrupted, which, you know, that's great. That's really good business. Um, but I don't think that Upstart is going to be affected that much by this, um, especially since it's in the loan business and it's not really in the payments business. Um, but other than that, I don't really see much going on with it. Um, I think it was just at a critical level and just because of this Fed news, it went all the way down. And I'm not saying that um, Upstart is exactly like PayPal and Square. What I'm saying is that I think FinTech has been beaten down a lot just because it's in the same space as PayPal and Square. So I think it's just getting pummeled, especially recently. So just watch out for those levels. And it was good to see an upgrade on price, especially to 140, which is just below the 200 MA. It does have a lot of room to grow. And I definitely would not be 
if I was a long-term investor in this, I would not be looking to sell. I do think it has great prospects for the future. So thank you very much. This is Supergirl Investor here to save the world and make you wealthy. And this is just one of the names that went on my radar just because I did see this interesting breakout breakdown of the descending triangle. So if you can catch this, it's a really good opportunity for about 10, 20% to gain as long as you have a stop loss or a trailing stop loss. So let's make money, let's do great. Remember that the Fed meetings and all of this FUD that's going around in the market being crazy choppy is actually an opportunity for traders. This is a great opportunity for you to learn and for you to profit, so let's keep making that money. Bye.